Good evening, everyone. How are you all? Well, I'm very fine. <coughs> I'm back again uh, in session two uh, of how to speak with confidence. <coughs> Uh, in my last video, uh, I have shared how to speak with confidence. Uh, a tip number one that first of all conquer your fear and we can uh, overcome or conquer our fear uh, by taking some calculated risks like how I did. I just thought in mind that while recording this video or while coming on uh, live, what will happen? What risks, risks I will take? Uh, someone will uh, comment bad, someone will bully me or someone will say oh, what she is doing, what are you doing <coughs> or someone will you know say bad names that's it Achha, chalo, itna ho bhi jata hai, to mar to nahi jayenge na jinda to rehenge so that was the calculated risk and you know what happened with that calculated risk I just conquered my fear of speaking with confidence. I am more comfortable than the last video. I am more comfortable here to share my views with all of you. So uh, I am here for uh, with some uh, another tips how to speak with confidence. Uh, uh, the session which uh, uh, I listened by Dev Garvi sir and, <coughs> and the second uh, today's first tip is after conquering our fear if you want to communicate properly if you want to communicate clearly with everyone first of all to whom we have to communicate properly tell me first of all tell me the name of the person with whom we must have to communicate properly i know that uh, yes i know that the person with whom we have to communicate properly, we have to connect properly to communicate the outer side of the world is ourself only. If we are not able to communicate with ourself only properly, if we are not able to connect to ourselves, if we are not able to listen to our heart, then we will never be able to communicate to outside the world. Right. Second tip is speak to express not to impress right in modern days we are speaking to impress everyone we are just being on social media for sure for one more thing we human are social being we we human are social beings plus we are emotional beings so we don't uh, we cannot live uh, alone in a jungle and a solitary life except some uh, gurus and babas except some people we cannot live alone we have to be social and we have to express our feelings it's not good to suppress our feelings it's not good to suppress our emotions in ourselves right <coughs> Because think about a balloon in which we fill air, one hour, two hour, and three hour. Right. At last, what will happen? It will burst out, like our mind, like our mind. If we are going to fill our mind with a lots of uh, emotions every day, negative emotions as well as positive emotions, anger, fear you know, uh, being uh, so many, so many in, uh, emotions are there. We are filling our mind with all of those emotions. We are not able to express them. We are not able to express them before the right person at the right time. Then what will happen? Our mind will also get burst out at a time. And due to that, due to that, some people commit suicide and some people get mad. Some people get, uh, get in dep depression even. So second tip is, just express yourself just speak to express not to impress not to impress uh, we all uh, we all are uh, all of us know we know the story of everyone 
we uh, we know the story of the person to whom we know and i mean we know that that he's he or she is not happy with his or her spouse only and they are posting the pictures on the social media oh lovely dinner with my spouse with my in-laws with my this with my that and they are just getting mad at each other at their home so what's happening literally what's happening literally we are just in show of life right and i have uh, i have listened somewhere that if we are going to suppress our one emotion then after a certain period of time that emotion is burst out in a weird form like if we have an emotion of fear at some time after 2 3 years or maybe before that or maybe after that that emotion will burst out in mix up of so many emotions like that uh, emotion of fear will burst out in emotion of uh, anger in emotion of uh, feeling uh, a lonely in emotion of feeling uh, uh, you know uh, 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 in uh, uh, suppressing anyone other uh, get uh, you know dominating anyone other in our life so express yourself first of all connect to yourself listen to your heart uh, uh, listen to your uh, uh, you know uh, listen to yourself clearly and then express it at the right time before the right person Okay. Uh, then the third tip is uh, be vulnerable. Be vulnerable. Being vulnerable means showing your weakness sometimes. Showing your weakness sometimes. Showing your weak point sometimes. Like uh, if you have committed uh, any mistake, you if you had if you did some uh, mistake, and if uh, you know, you can tell to your spouse that I'm sorry, I was wrong at that time. I'm sorry. You can tell to your parents that uh, yes, dad, I am screwed and I'm sorry for that. I didn't listen to you. Just don't hide that emotion. Be vulnerable. And this is uh, by the way this is basically uh, uh, told in our society, in our education system and by our parents that don't show your weak point to anyone. Don't be vulnerable before anyone because people will take benefit of that but it's not like that make sure you are being vulnerable at right time before right people right before right person if you are getting vulnerable if you are showing your weakness to the wrong person or at group of uh, before a group of wrong person then literally they will make your condition more miserable and they will dominate you and they will make your life hell So express yourself be vulnerable before right person at the right time uh, that's it about today and uh, uh, thanks a lot to uh, everyone who uh, just liked my post and uh, who just uh, uh, comments uh, who just have put it uh, nice comments on my uh, live Uh, video at that time and uh, i'm so thankful to everyone and uh, uh, thank you so much for listening again <laughs>